Hi, this is Anil from Learning Light with a video tutorial on C programming. In this tutorial, we can see the external storage class in C. So I'm gonna explain, you know, where the variables with the external storage class will be um, stored. What's gonna be the default initial value? What's gonna be the scope and life of that external storage class variable? So. So if you want to assign the external storage class to a variable, you need to use the keyword EXTERN, extern, and then uh, you know the data type and the variable name. So the variable with external storage class will be stored in the memory, uh, most probably in the heap, and uh, they are initialized to a value of zero. So this uh, scope of this external storage class variable is going to be global. So all the functions can use that external storage class variable. And the life of this external storage class variable is going to be as long as the program execution doesn't come to end. So the variable with external storage class is going to be available to all the functions and also and they are available you know until your program is running so now you know we're gonna see you know how we can uh, use this uh, variable so here I have declared a variable with external storage class the next thing that we need to do is we need to define that variable so I have to do it you know outside all the functions so outside the main function also so here you know, after the main function I'm gonna define that so int x equal to okay let's leave it as it is only int x okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what's gonna be the default value that's why I'm gonna refer that variable it's gonna be percentage d let me add a new line and uh, I'm gonna refer the variable x so I'm gonna save it execute compile and run you can see you know it's been initialized to zero and also note that you know the variable is uh, defined you know uh, in the end so you might remember that you know when we were using the global variables you know we need to define them at the beginning but you know with external variables you know which has a global scope is going to be defined at any location but must be defined you know outside all the functions so the next thing that we're gonna do is you know we're gonna assign a value of uh, 10 here and uh, I'm gonna create a function here and uh, I'm gonna name it as uh, display and here we're gonna refer this variable x you know which is external or globally defined so now if you want to use this variable x we need to you know define that this variable x is external to this function so I can do that by using this statement so if I don't do that it's gonna produce the error so uh, compile and run it you can see here you know we have the error so I'm gonna copy this one and paste it here execute compile and run you can see here you know uh, a value of 10 okay we need to call that function let me copy display and after the printf statement I'm gonna call a display function execute compile and run you can see 10 10 2 times so uh, external storage class is assigned to the variables you know when uh, you know you need to use some va variables you know in many functions and uh, you know if you use this external uh, uh, storage class then you don't need to pass the value as a parameter to that uh, function so this is it guys this is about the external storage class in C thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial